Hello. I was in the wrong camera. <laughs> I can't see it. I can't Welcome hear back. you. Is it oh. because of, yes, it's because of me. So okay. give me one second. Should be working now. Uh, welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> How are you so doing? My, yeah, um, yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> Say fine. <laughs> alive. <laughs> alive, yeah, alive is good. <laughs> hello. Hey, hello. welcome back. So, hello, welcome. Hello. So, I think this may be all of us. I'm not sure if Ruben is joining us uh, today. Possibly is not. Um, and everyone else is out. So we're pretty light, um, but Ahmad's joined us. So we're also slightly higher numbers. So thank you. <laughs> um, awesome. So I'm going to do a slightly different uh, format today since we don't actually have any release managers in this meeting. Um, just on the, so I should say, this is our weekly delivery meeting. Uh, is this recorded? And uh, we'll put this public. Uh, I'll make a, there's a section towards the end where we have, uh, we'll stop the recording and do a bit of a chat. So um, if there's anything anyone wants to share outside the recording, um, save that for towards the end of the meeting. Um, on the recorded section, so just a heads up really that lots of people have time out um, today um, and then through this week and next week. So um, I don't think there's any great problem with that. We'll just adjust like our capacity and things. But if you are particularly waiting on any specific people, please um, factor these dates in around your, your requests. Um, I'll move the backport request discussion item into an issue, I think. So a kind of brief summary of that is we've been asked to do a couple of backports to go back to 1312. Um, we, we we may we may need to do this, um, but we'll certainly the main thing I wanted to kind of remind everyone is just to make sure all these requests go through the process and uh, people are filling out the um, the full docs. Um, ah, Ruben is with us. Hey, Ruben, uh, is he here? No, he's not. He's just writing on the code. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's writing on the agenda. I thought I had my tiling. Um, so uh, if you um, when you are release managers, like I just want to make a reminder that like please challenge people on these things make sure everyone's following the process correctly uh, and it's totally fine to say no uh, or delay patch releases to a better time or just escalate them up to me so a bit of extra context around patch releases is we have our maintenance policy and we support patching for the current version security patching for the back previous two versions and what we um, have done is tied that quite tightly to the number of people in our team and there was a discussion a few months ago around whether we actually need to expand this to take in new versions. And if we did need to do that, we would need more people in our team. And that would mean we could actually automate this stuff so that we can support more versions. Um, it was decided at the time that no, we didn't need to be supporting more versions. So I'm gonna bring that back up again in this request um, and we'll see how that goes. But just as a kind of heads up, like we, we don't have to support every single request. Um, and this one I'll put in the issue, it's like, if we do need to patch back quite a few versions now, is there anything that we should now be prioritizing that would make patches easier? Uh, so if anyone has any ideas now, otherwise I will uh, run that past. One that I know Robert opened is we could automate the uh, patch um, blog post MR generation. So probably not the whole blog post, but we could do the prep, which at least takes away some manual steps. Yeah, but even that one, I mean, the so the the, the real manual and stuff where we lose, say, more time is actually the blog posts, right? Because we have to kind of rearrange the formatting, yeah. make sure that things make sense and things like that. But still, it's just one single post. So exactly. So even if you are just backporting ten versions, it. The, Usually it's, it's the same bug that just got backported 10 times because it's very important or whatever, right? So it would still be the same blog post. I think That's that the, the, the real problem with um, supporting more versions is the likelihood that things goes wrong. 
So the, the real problem here is that um, the reason why we stick to three is that our code changed so fast that uh, three months later is likely that the thing cannot be cleanly picked into exactly. the stable branch. And even, and so up, up, up until this, no, that's not the point. So uh, during a security release, this process is handled by uh, the developer themselves because they have to prepare three backports themselves. When we do the regular patch releases, they don't. They just add a label to their merge request, picking yeah. to whatever. And if we ever decide to run that patch release, our tooling is backporting everything. So we just cherry pick everything that has the label. And if it cleanly applies, we move on. If not, we mm -hmm. just leave a message. That's the point. That's the, where the problem is, right? Because there's no check ahead of time if that thing is compatible or not with the stable branch. Yeah. So at the moment we discover it's too late. Yeah. Because then basically... What we, could, what we, what we can certainly do for this one is um, request developer support, right? So this is all going to be around a Gitly change. Uh, I'm completely fine with us requesting that someone from Gitly pairs with us whilst we prepare, you know, for a week. And then if we have any problems picking, they can be the ones to debug, for example. Yeah, yeah. I, I was talking more of a general aspect. Yeah. Now, if you want to talk specifically to this one, yes, that's that's okay. This is, generally, this is just yeah. the first point of failure of this process, right? Because okay. it may fail. It usually fail if it's if you're backporting to all the releases. That's it. And when yeah. it basically we decide to run the patch release, and then if it fails, we are basically running against time, right? Because we That's didn't it. know ahead of time, and we relay on someone else to fix that. After that point, the other point that usually fail is QA or test in yeah. general, because yeah, some of them are just the flaky. We got discovered to be flaky later on, but we never rerun the full uh, test on the stable branches. And then we end up having a failure on the stable branches when we want to tag. And exactly, yeah. That's that the other be point. a definite challenge. We've had a lot of flaky tests. So lots of things have been quarantined recently. Um, so yeah, that for sure, those two things are gonna be real painful. Um, so it's not if, gonna be a normal thing. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that this is very much, if we go ahead, I'm happy to push back, but if we do go ahead, it'll be truly exceptional. Okay. And if I say, if, if it becomes not the exception, if this becomes the norm, then um, we can look forward to adding some more people to our team and automating patch releases, right? Which is the other way. So. Awesome. Um, 7B, uh, reminder, if you haven't done so already, please could you contribute to the Q4 OKR discussion? Um, I am I've got a due date of today. I'm happy to extend it for a day or two, but I'd really like to know kind of the, um, it doesn't have to be exact wording, but it'd be great for us to kind of be in rough agreement by the end of the week as to what we want to focus on through Q4. One note on Q4 is it's a shorter quarter, obviously, because the holidays, more people will be off. So let's not be too ambitious um, and, uh, and set some kind of good OKRs, but uh, like also it's been a big year. So let's, uh, let's not, like uh, I think it was, I think it was Scalbeck proposed HA proxy. Let's not attempt HA proxy. Okay, it was like this is going to be way too hard. So we can do stuff to set up for Q1, but um, uh, please take a look through Q4 and see what you think. Awesome. Is there anything else anyone wants to mention on the recording? Nope. Okay, I shall stop recording. <laughs>